Why has Eli Tomac not re-signed with the Monster Energy Star Yamaha Racing Factory 450 effort for 2023? Well, we're going to get into that a little bit. From what we've discovered, it may be just one simple real answer at this point. As Eli mentioned during this week, I believe it was during the broadcast or one of the TV interviews, that he has actually not signed any contract for the 2023 season. Um, a lot of us in media were led to believe earlier in the season that he had gone ahead and taken his option with the Yamaha team to continue for next season. And while that is on the table, he has actually not put pen to paper. And what we mean by option is, from my understanding, when Eli Tomac signed his contract with the team for 2022, there was basically an option in the contract already for 23. These probably have set amounts in it, so there's less negotiating later. It's basically if both parties are happy with each other, you just sign off and continue. Um, there probably are accelerators in his current contract. We do know that he took basically a pay cut to go from Kawasaki to Yamaha. The team has talked about it. He's kind of admitted it. Um, we wouldn't be surprised if there's an accelerator in the contract, meaning if he wins either the Supercross or Outdoor title this year, that his pay would bump for the next year. And that's probably already in there for the option, or maybe the option is just for the same continuous rate. Either way, we do not believe that the money that he is being paid or the financial gain in the contract is the reason for the current holdup. He seems to be very happy with it. He's nearing the end of his career. Eli does well for himself, has good bonuses. That doesn't really seem to be the issue with continuing with Yamaha. And at this point, he's very happy with the team. He's very happy to be back with his longtime suspension guy, um, Gilly. Everything seems to be good there. So again, I re the question, why are we holding this up or why is he holding it up? From what we heard this week, it may be down to one simple piece. The Yamaha 450 is fairly well known to probably be changing for the 2023 model. Yamaha has, I think, gone on around five years on this production model, which is usually a year longer than we see, but probably due to COVID um, you know, restrictions and things. Yamaha wasn't able to finish up testing, may have delayed it, or maybe they planned a five-year model run this year. Either way, it's time to update the Yamaha 450. That means we're going to see you know, new bodywork, new chassis, new engine, et cetera, et cetera. But we haven't seen the bike yet. It is not being raced at the All Japan Nationals from where we're aware, and the team has not had one to test it. So, Basically, Tomac is very happy with the current bike, uh, with the current setup, but he wants to know what the next bike is. And we've heard he's not even super worried about testing the actual motorcycle himself. It's more or less just him and his camp want to know, hey, what's changing on this bike? What's the geometry? What's going on with the engine? A few things of that nature. And if everything looks good to them, it doesn't look like too maybe too far of a departure from what they're on, or it kind of fits in the, the wheelhouse of what they know they can work with, He'll, from our understanding, do this option deal right now. He's just waiting for that information. So, again, we've heard this, okay, Tomac may not resign. As far as we're aware, he's not really negotiating with anybody else. It's not an issue of money. We don't foresee him trying to go to a different team at this current stage. He seems very happy enough to stay. It's really just down to him and his camp waiting to figure out what the next bike is, which is completely understandable. He signed into. Yamaha had an interesting time. Yes, the Star Group has taken the 450 platform and really changed the perception of it as a race machine, but that's the current platform. The next one, all it takes is one or two weird design um, cues in the motorcycle or some very unusual geometry. And if you're Eli, you're this late in your career, you're riding this good, you may only race another year anyways, why do you want to take on possibly the project of riding a bike that's going to take some development time if something on it has changed so much that it's it's going to take a while to adapt and get ready for you versus being on hopefully a machine that he's looking for that is similar enough to his current model that they roll right into it, doesn't take a lot of development time, and he can get right on the track and do what he wants to do. So again, that's our little news break for this one. That's the latest we know on the Eli Tomac situation. So again, as far as we're aware, Tomac, just waiting for some confirmation on the bike. Likely wants to stay at Monster Energy Star Yamaha for 2023. Not looking elsewhere. Just a little thing they're waiting for before they put pen to paper. That's all we know right now about this situation, though. But if you like this stuff, give us the thumbs up, subscribe. Check out our website, valmx.com, for more news. And thanks for watching.